All right. Hello, everybody. Um, oh, good. That is coming through over here. That is so, so interesting. Good. Yay. Welcome, everyone. It's Saturday night. We have the technical difficulties, and it is time for the weekly dig. Um, it feels like this is a technical difficulty central here, but I think we're going to – we'll be okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll be there. Um, yeah, it's Saturday night. That means it is time to talk about anime old and new. For those new to the channel, I'm Brent. These are my amazing co-hosts, John. Say hi, John. Hi, John. Let me and draw. Steve. Say hi, Steve. Hello, Steve. Hi. So, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> if it weren't already obvious that we were geeks, you should have heard what we were talking about before we went live. <laughs> um, holy smokes. But, uh, yeah. So, um, we're going to be talking about uh, um, some anime tonight, but... Uh, before we get into that, um, how have your weeks been, guys? Busy, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's getting to be that time of year. It's the uh, For those of you who are looking for pumpkin beers, sorry, it's done. It's over. Mm -hmm. Don't cry. Mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> we are now entering into a holiday phase, and so I've been spending the past week just going, oh, Mad Elf, okay, Southern mm -hmm. Tier, here we go. and just Winter Spiced Lager. Lager. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, it's Southern Tier, yeah. Hmm. So a whole bunch of interesting stuff, but I did get, speaking of geek, um, Bell's uh, Brewery, which uh, makes really good beer, hmm. has their Mars out, and it is as in the Rover, you know. The, oh, the, a, a, a Mars, so it's, it's like a, it's a stout, I think, and it's Mars, and on the top of the cap, bottle cap is actually the North Pole of Cool. Cool. So Interesting. Cool. Okay. So I have a question for you, Steve. Are there uh -huh. any anime themed alcohols available? Beers, wine, liquor that you're malt aware liquor. Of? Yeah. <clears throat> malt liquor. Yeah. Malt liquor. There should be an malt liquor. It's an angry Masado. <laughs> Skate the infinity, the malt liquor. Oh, <laughs> God. That sounds like menthol liquor. Ugh, <laughs> menthol. Uh, it's cooling um, and invigorating. Yeah. <laughs> The answer is no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, there is there there is um, there there was a Gundam product about three years ago. Yeah, okay. Um, it much like the Stardine can of Char Ensemble that mm. came out a couple years ago. Okay. I think it was. Um, it's got to be a whiskey. Was it a whiskey? I, I thought it was a beer. Is it a beer? Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised. Beer, right? No, but I understand whiskey. why you're saying yeah. whiskey. I understand yeah. why you're saying whiskey. Um, mm. So there is that. And then there are the all the all the craft beers that love to play. Um, oh, no, this isn't anime. No, this isn't Pokemon that you see on the mm. face of our thing, even though it really does look like Pikachu because we're playing with, with copyrights and this is how we want to sell. Mm -hmm. So, yep. you know, there's mm -hmm. plenty. Electric of Mouse beer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's like not Pikachu. Here. It's Drink a Brew. Right, yeah. right. Exactly. Oh, cool. oh yeah. yeah. I choose you. Drink a Brew, the the electronic <laughs> mouse. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. It's electronic rat. Wow. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my God, that's actually an awesome name. <laughs> <laughs> Drink a Brew, the electronic rat. <laughs> oh boy. That's not a bad band name. I got to admit. Yeah. Um, it's no fart couch, DJ, but you know. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It works pretty okay. <laughs> Fair to middle. Yeah. Electronic Rat um, uh, uh, opens for Fart Couch. You know. there you oh, go. nice. Yeah. <laughs> John, how about you? It's just been a week of getting back into the groove again. I imagine. Um, yeah. And really, like, it's funny. It's not like I noticed too much, like, stress and, like, weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this week has probably been like more lighthearted as we've, you know, uh, transitioned out of like the Halloween period where it's sort of getting into uh, that middle space where the temperatures are down. People have not gone Christmas crazy yet. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it's just beautiful outside. It's like mm -hmm. how to really like telling jokes, laughing at stories kind of things for the week. And it's just like, yes. wow, OK, this is, this makes this nice. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. as the weeks progress, <laughs> I'm sure the weight again will come back down. Sure. And then about two or three weeks, you'll be like, grumble, grumble, grumble. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's so, funny how and taking then, time off can Im improve one's mood, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It, it actually makes you rather jovial and much less of a sour 
old grope. Not a grope. <laughs> Hopefully not um, a grope. That's not appropriate. Not a grope, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm groping my own psyche. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then just trying, now that I've, you know, that I've taken the plunge and I've, I've bought into Funimation, I've been mm. trying to catch up on their catalog of new oh, stuff man. and the Crunchy catalog of new wow. stuff. And I'm, I will tell you this, for mobile... I much, much prefer Crunchy Roll's interface. Shock. It is. You know, <laughs> yeah. They yeah, right. did a much yeah. better job with it. Um, yeah. it's a Funimation, like Crunchy Roll, like literally on the screen when you're playing, mm -hmm. you've got the play, you know, slice. Mm -hmm. If you hit that, it plays. If you hit it again, it has the pause yeah. indicator. And then right. you got 10 seconds forward, 10 seconds backwards. Right. Funimation's mobile doesn't have that. So it's like you have to kind of like dance it forward a little bit mm. with your finger to try and find the right spot. Online, like on the PC, they're relatively similar. Then mm. you get the 10 second forward, 10 second back with mm. both of them. Mm -hmm. But it's just like their mobile access. Mm. It's just and it's still not fun. as good. <laughs> even on the even on on the PCs, um, I, I still find that I like Crunchyroll for some reason a, a yeah. lot better than yeah. Funimation. Yeah, it's just easier Fun or whatever. Funimation's have also Funimation's player has also been less reliable for me, where like it'll load up and just spin <clears throat> forever until I refresh. Uh, just yeah, 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 weird yeah. issues uh, like that. Um, just yeah. or just like the page won't load or whatever. And granted, you know they've got a billion One Piece, you know, uh, folks all watching that, you know, simultaneously. Right. So I, I'm, I'm sure they've got uh, the, you know, their own troubles. But uh, well, one of the things I found, I was like kind of surprised, is I when I opened up Crunchyroll, hey, it must have been like Wednesday, and I'm getting ready to go off to work. I pop it open, and I could see down below of like you know top picks. Nuku Nuku's in there. Oh, nice! <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, I'm like. Yeah. Interesting. So I started mm -hmm. sort, of, sort of thumbing through both of them, mm -hmm. and I'm noticing that a lot of the stuff that Crunchyroll licensed from Funimation was mm -hmm. on now on Funimation. Ah, uh, yeah. And is so it's like some of the back catalog, and a lot of older catalog stuff is starting to show up on Crunchyroll. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, yep. maybe this acquisition won't be that bad. <laughs> and <laughs> that's a good point. I, I, I have noticed that, and I feel like it was on Funimation Crunchyroll where I was. You know, skimming through the you know recommended or the, you know here's what's hot right now, and there were like right. one or two like '90s anime uh, on there. Yeah, like, wow, interesting. Um, yeah, and I didn't realize all this time that we've all talked about Nuka Nuka. I swear I saw. That. Nope. <clears throat> I did not. I watched episode one. I'm like, no, I have never seen this. <laughs> I've seen stuff that's like subsequently the premise is kind of mm. similar, but never have seen, have I seen that. So I was yeah. like, yay. <laughs> It's not a show you forget easily. Uh. No. <laughs> no. Um, I, although, like I said, I swear I've seen a, a, another one where it's got the same basic kind of oh, premise. Yeah. And it's just like, so that's what locked me into mm. being like, oh, no, no, I've seen, I've seen Nuke Nuke. I'm up. No, no. It's like, no, no, you have a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a completely different type of character kind of thing going on. I'm like, gotcha. Speaking so. of, um, earlier in the week, I went up to the local mall to to go to the Verizon store to pick up a, a piece of equipment for something that maybe come later for the channel, but that's a whole other thing. Um, went in, talked to a uh, sales guy, explained what I needed. He said, sure, go over. Um, uh, sat down, he kind of talked through what I needed, um, and I explained that I needed this for for my YouTube channel. Um, and as we were going through, he said, oh, what, what, what do you do for your YouTube channel? I said, oh, it's mostly anime. And his eyes lit up. <laughs> Um, and he's, you know, hard to tell, but he's like in, in his thirties, maybe. Um, I said, oh, that's so cool. That, that's awesome. And, uh, we, we got through our thing and I said, uh, you know, so what anime are, you know, have you, have you seen and do you like? And he said, well, let me see here. Um, uh, I guess the, the one that really got me into it was Dragon Ball Z. I was like, sure. Totally. Understand. And he goes, um, sure. um, and I'm like. That's a gateway drug. Right. Yeah. And I'm thinking, okay. And, and he says, another one. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Is it going to be Demon Slayer? Is it going to be Naruto? Is it going to be, you know, One Piece? And he goes, right. Uh, other big ones would be um, Voltron, Yu Yu Hakusho, and oh, God. Gundam Wing. Those are all really the ones that I'm going to. And I'm like, oh, dude, we have to talk. Cool. <laughs> Impressive, impressive start. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so like he, he was big into all the like all the classic tsunami shows and so forth. Sure. Yeah. Um, and then he hasn't really seen much since then. So I'm like, 
you and I, man, we we have we we're gonna have to have a long conversation at some point. Um, I was like, wow, that's of all the here's connections. My, here's my card. Right. right. Into my <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he, he did. So what's his name? Anna, Anna, yeah. How do you spell archaeology? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're here tonight, Ahmed, good to see you. I um, uh, hope you're doing well. Um, but um, yeah, and uh, as for me this week, um, on the anime front, the main thing, um, not too much, just watching a little bit more of, of some things. Uh, episode two of Come We Can't Communicate. Uh, on Netflix, yes. which Netflix yes. is, is slow uh, compared to the rest of the world on getting those episodes out. But very happy to see yeah. that episode two uh, continues the trend of, of the animation quality and the approach yep. to humor and so forth. And it's chugging along. It's fun to watch you know. that one. Yeah, sometimes those first episodes, they kind of they pour everything into the first episode. <laughs> but it feels like uh, they're, they're going to keep that going on. So, yay, Netflix money. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, speaking of money... Let us get into it and talk about Neon Genesis Evangelion 3.33 You Cannot Redo, uh, which we all watched uh, in the past week or two uh, after watching the first two rebuild movies. And oh man, oh man, do I have things to talk yeah. about here. Um, <laughs> so as we, we were talking about this a little bit before, you know, the first movie is basically a, you know, a remake of episodes like 1 through 8. The second movie is more of a remix, right? They're doing things. This is not either of those things. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's get started talking about that, uh, because I was kind of surprised to open with these, uh, these shots um, of all of this, these sort of polygons in space, um, is how this movie mm-hmm. opens. Um, and I'll admit, I understand the intent of these scenes, which is, if you imagine you're in a movie theater here to see this, and you see all these clips, you're like, what's going on here? What part of the TV series is this from? Where is this pulling from? And as it turns out, none of those things. Yep. Um, yeah, no, we're in space. Um, Asuka is piloting uh, an Eva in space. Um... And, uh, and fighting... With massive boosters. With, with massive, massive boosters, asses. yes, absolutely. Um, I thought you were going somewhere different with that phrase. But yes, of course massive I'm not, boosters. because it's not past 10 o'clock. Yes, <laughs> nor is it Mari. Um, Ex- yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we get this whole new thing. And I'll, I'll admit, and this may have colored it for, the, for me for the rest of the film, I thought this scene went on way too long. I, I love the action. I, I, I yes. love the, the, the action stuff, but it felt like they were just drawing it out as long as possible to increase the mystery of the scene and I, I could have done with this being a few minutes shorter I could yeah so <laughs> as, as I'm watching this I like I, I was I actually stopped mm. right because I had I have prime so I oh, stopped yeah. it then I pulled it out you know like you know got out of the episode mm. on, on the television and I was just like Okay, it says it's three point three three. Yep. Um, okay, mm-hmm. I'll I'll resume watching, and then it went on. That first sequence went on for like what four minutes? Something like and that. Yeah. It was yeah. That, yeah. And it was like, and it's the 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 bottom shot of the bo- of the boosters, and you hear the 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 talking, the chatter, the yeah. radio chatter, and the radio chatter was going over itself. Like yes. there were multiple people talking, and that's just not how it works. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, it, 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 yeah. in reality, that's not. That's, you don't have multiple channels. That's very bad one. in space. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you can't just be the pilot. Just go. What was that? What? Yeah. The dog. I what said there's dog? an asteroid coming at you. <laughs> what? The dog? What? Yeah. So there's a droid on my tail. What? What? <laughs> and. So, you know, but then, I mean, I, I thought it was visually, it was interesting, uh, you know, like how they were doing the, the burns and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I thought it was good. Mm-hmm. I just didn't want it. At that yes, time. exactly. I, I, I just, yeah. Well, I just wanted it. If it was a different movie, <laughs> right. it would yeah. be fine. And so, and then it got into that, this really chaotic, the really battle, it, good yeah. battle scene, but it was really, really chaotic. Mm-hmm. And I actually, you know, we were talking about that forward, backward, 10 second kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I wish I had that on Prime because there were, there were, because I was doing that all with the remote. Yeah. And, you know, just kind of going back and forth to make sure that I actually 
saw what I saw because mm-hmm. I you know, didn't, didn't want to miss anything because at that point I realized I was just like I actually again paused the movie and I said all right 2.22 was the end of this <laughs> that and the other thing we're in God's name am I right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know so you know and then of course you know, the other rest of the stuff yeah. yeah Oscar shows up and you're like okay I know who that is yeah, yeah. You see, and this is what is an interesting, like, counter reaction to you guys. Mm-hmm. This <laughs> sold me on on Eva as as we're progressing forward, where I'm just like, I really enjoyed watching the setup. I really enjoyed that chatter. I enjoyed not knowing particularly what, what was, exactly was happening. Yeah. I loved watching just the animation of all the fight scene. I loved watching yeah. just the detail of the burn units and like how they put this together, how, you know, the EVA unit itself is like sort of has its own heat shield kind mm. of thing. I was just like, mm-hmm. okay, cool. This has got <laughs> nothing to do with the TV show. Yeah. And I'm really, I'm kind of digging this. I like mm. the fact that you're just, you're hitting me early on to let me know, don't expect what you had for the television mm. show. Mm-hmm. Don't expect what you had yeah. for one. No. We're, we're proceeding in like... We're proceeding in our orbit (laughs) to a greater thing Mm -hmm. where like, you know, I mean, those boosters, if nothing else, it's like, obviously there's a lot of power behind this film. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They've got the funding for it. They've done these great animation and fight sequences. And Mm -hmm. it's like, cool. I I now know that, you know, you reached a trajectory with this thing. And now here we go. I'm I'm, I'm settled in for this and I can't, Mm -hmm. can't wait to see how you're going to take this. Nice metaphor, by the way. (laughs) Um, But uh, yeah, for me, action should always communicate character or move the plot forward and when i don't have any context as to what's going on and what the consequences of any of these actions of the action is i check out a little bit i have a difficult time getting engaged in that action so that that's that, that that's what 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 i needed out of the scene um but i i i totally agree that it was it was a very refreshing way of opening the movie of saying okay yeah we're going in a different yeah. direction you, yeah. you, you've got to figure it out now. You've got to do it. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I'll go further. I think this is kind of Anno also kind of doing kind of what Tomino does a lot, actually, of kind of going, no, it's time for you to put your thinking caps on and not be spoon-fed this. You know, right. you've got to actually work, <laughs> which is kind of nice. And then well, kill them all. Right. No, right. Wait, 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 no, wait, not wait, that. Wait. Not that one. Yeah. <laughs> Close, but not that. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So one of the things I will say that I enjoyed about the scene mm. that that at first annoyed the hell out of me <laughs> okay. um, was Mari singing, not knowing that was her singing. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you. so you hear this 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 childlike voice singing mm. and this song, and it sounds like a, a, almost a nursery rhyme. It yeah. Seems like, mm. and it's this song that's being sung over the action and stuff. And I'm like, going, oh, who? Why are we choosing this song over the action? And then I think that's when Oscar comes in. Actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then and Oscar's just basically like, shut up. <laughs> you know, and I was like going, yes, you're right. I can't think either. What's going on? Oh, that was actually Mari. Okay. 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 Fine. Yeah. But it was a great way to, you know, to bring Mari into it and just, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. her being her and, yeah. and doing the thing. I love it. <laughs> Towards the end of the fight scene where it's just totally Oscar. Right, he's just like going, yeah, yeah, you're on your own seat. Sorry, princess. <laughs> and but that's the thing. It's like that we got out of two point two two is you you start to get this thing where it's like Mari wants to pilot. Mm-hmm. Mari's trained to pilot. Yep. Mari's good at piloting. Mm-hmm. So she's singing because she knows exactly what to do. Yeah. Muscle memory, man. Mm-hmm. She is she is doing yeah. the thing absolutely. So she's got the opportunity and time to just be like. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she, she has whereas, no ego invested in it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, whereas Asuka is like, you know, she's got <laughs> to prove herself. She has to be like right there and she's the best ever. And it's like, arguably, the one who can sing in combat mm. is probably the better pilot. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell Asuka that because she punch you right I, in the face. Yeah. She, I, I, I mean, I'd be slightly psychotic. I mean, that's just like, yeah. By the way, it's a good thing we're doing this on the internet where no one can get to our cars. Just saying. <laughs> I don't have a car. I have an Eva unit. There we go. <laughs> uh-huh. I've seen the bumper sticker. My other car is an Eva unit. It's a fun sticker. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, My so car yeah. runs on LCL. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Um, 
So, yeah, so we get a big old scene, a uh, big old action scene. Uh, and, of course, the other question that we were all asking through this scene is, where is Shinji? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we find Shinji um, uh, in a hospital of some kind. Um, and I do love this shot of him, you know, strapped down to the bed with the four machine guns pointed at him. Yeah. Um, as he's all just going, what, what's, what's going on? Um, what, you know, what, what's the deal? Um, uh, and the, uh, the, the girl is, uh, is reporting in on him. Um, and we're, we're, we're kind of like Shinji at this point. You know, what's the deal? Yeah, what um, exactly you know, happened? <laughs> well, and to be honest, he handled it a lot better than I think I would True. have. If I woke up and, and there's four machine guns that, that aimed at me, I would be like, I'm going to go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. just this is not good. <laughs> um, he managed to retain his bladder control, though. True. Thank goodness. Yes, yes. As far as you know. Um, uh, and then he's wheeled onto the bridge of the Nautilus. I mean, the, this ship. <laughs> uh, where we get to see um, how things have changed. Um, and we see that there is now um, a rather rather new situation uh, with a new, a, a new Masato uh, and a new... Um, uh, uh, Risco. Yeah. Um, it's what do you all think of the there's the visual aesthetic of this because I mean the first thing that jumped out to me is this this looks more like Darling in the Franks than Evangelion to me like the aesthetic is just rather wildly different it's kind of got this Art Deco Metropolis esque style to it yeah it's a bit of a bit of a switch <laughs> like, uh, but I mean it fully drives home the idea it's like no this is a different thing yeah. You know, yeah. don't you're not gonna just see Masato standing there in like a jacket and a crop top and, and her mm. skirt and shoes. Yep. It's like no, this is a different damn thing. So something has happened. Mm -hmm. Shinji looks the same. Yep. This is what so like 15 minutes after the last film, sure. right? Yep. What, now, now why do why do these people look like this 15 minutes later? And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, maybe there's something actually bad really happened. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. And there's like reasons that everybody's gone all like freaky looking and is acting weird and like okay and that's yeah. that's that was the first thing that came to my mind it's okay, yeah. seeing that kind of visually discord kind of thing where it's like something terrible happened it's something awful happened right mm -hmm. <laughs> i know it well i mean there's they're pointing the machine guns at them and they're dragging them down the hallway this hallway and if you notice the hallway is actually moving so oh, you yeah. get a sense mm -hmm. that they're not on a, something they're not in nerve Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um and you know the 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 girl who we find out later who she is mm -hmm. is wearing a beret which is not something that's worn True. in nerve so you mm -hmm. get clues visual clues that that's not a, that they're not nerve mm -hmm. and um but then you get a shot of shinji's feet the bottom of his feet mm -hmm. they're like actually like toe tagging yeah. him in case he dies or something yeah but you know they 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 have his name on the bottom of his foot and, and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And and they bring him into the bridge, which looks almost Gundam esque and mm. and you know, and but then you have some familiar tropes. You have the the, the emergency signs, the mm. you know, and then you see the people who have clearly look different and new yeah. people admits and admits them. Mm -hmm. Um, you yeah. know, the girl with the pink hair and yeah. you, know, you know, that kind of thing. So as you're sitting there and since she's just like there was a point where I was just like, like, okay, we get the point that Shinji's confused. Can we have him stop saying what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, what's yeah, what's going on? yeah. Over and over again. But, and, you know, the fact that Masada's like not even really acknowledging him mm -hmm. and then saying things like this conversation is over. Yeah. You know, things like that. So you have this sense of just like, like you're sitting there on the seat and you're just like, tell me, yeah. tell me, somebody tell me. Yeah. What's going on? And then, then you learn. Yeah. And of course, it's an interesting, uh, you know, callback to the beginning of Evangelion itself, of you know, being introduced, cold commander figure, um, even a, uh, you know, a gurney going down a hallway, right? That was yeah, a thing. Um, a lot of the same stuff, and and, and then kind of the, <clears throat> it, it must be said with the the irony of uh, Masato now acting like Gendo, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very interesting twist. And by the way, the reason I said. Nautilus um, is because there are 
quite a few not, uh, Nadia and the Secret of Blue Water references in this movie. Um, not the least of which being just the overall sort of style and aesthetic of this bridge. Um, but also the fact that, and we'll see if I can get a, uh, a screenshot of him because it's always hard to get that um, in these clips on, uh, often. Uh, there's Pink Headed Girl. Um, the, uh, there he is. The, uh, the, the guy, uh, the, the, the bald guy uh, in this who seems to be the engineer. Um, he also happens to be played by the voice actor who played uh, Captain Nemo on Nadia and the Secret of Blue Water in oh, Japanese. Oh, really? Yes, he is. <laughs> And oh. later on, when they do the whole activation scene, yeah. um, those lines are pulled from Naughty and the Secret of Blue Water. Like, that's how they activate uh, the Nautilus. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, just found that out today. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a thing that they're kind of pulling from. Um, yeah. Wow. That's, I, that's, inter- <laughs> that's an interesting poll for an Eva film. Yeah, I know. Um, again, just kind of going back to the well, I think, on some of these things. Um, and just in general, kind of, and I mean, let's, let's be honest, Masato is basically playing Captain Nemo. Like, it's very much her personality yeah. in this, just a very um, serious, mysterious captain. Um, but yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I found this scene to be a little frustrating, but also very intriguing, um, right? Where, you know, as an audience member, you are kind of in Shinji's shoes, um, where I think for a lot of us in episode one, we're, we're not as much. Um, I mean, we're seeing him as a, as a perspective character, but in here you are kind of like, well, just tell me. Tell me what's going on. Why not? Come on, everybody. Um, but no, they kind of throw him in cold, cold storage um, um, as they bring back in um, Asuka um, uh, and everything, uh, and then they go off to fight Nerf. Um, and we get lots and lots and lots of CGI. Um, uh, yeah, there, there he is. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then the, the, the ship launches in a wonderfully, how to put this, um, there's a movie, oh my gosh, I just remember this movie. Um, is it Super Atragon? Um. Because of height? <laughs> oh gosh, was it Super Atragon? M- maybe? Um, it oh, is, what? yes, okay, Atragon. So, um, there was this. Um, 1963 um, Japanese science fiction film called Atragon, which is about a flying battleship weapon thing. Um, and very influential on otaku and so forth. Um, obviously being sort of a Yamato-esque. Yeah, so uh, it's a space yeah, right. battleship Yamato. Yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, giant drill on the front. Um, it's had some remakes. Um, but one of the things I've seen in the movie, it, it very much has one of those things where every time it launches, like it's a, it's a production every time the ship does everything and there's all of the, you know, let's do all the things and it rises majestically into the air and all that. And that very much has this, this, the feel of the scene almost to parody, to the point of parody where this is just, a, you know, activate interlocks and change this and move this and things come together and move and change and move and power and all, you know, and. It just goes yeah. on for minute after minute after minute. Well, Eva's been good at that, you know, since we saw the oh, Tokyo yeah. Three transformation, True. where it's like things, the bolts are sliding back out, locking in. This moves up, that goes down. This thing turns. It's like <laughs> you guys are not like just you know wasting the budget on like you know cheap sandwiches and coffee. You're <laughs> yeah. just spending it on something. Definitely. Um, um, but yeah, we, we we get the launch of the ship. And what an interesting design this ship has. Yeah. Um, so th- there's obviously elements of white base in it uh, with the two sort of central columns. Um, there's also a bit of an SDF-1 feel to it uh, in terms of being a giant battleship thing. Um, there's also kind of a Nausicaa feel to it with the giant wings um, fl- mm-hmm. flowing out. Yeah. And kind of Castle in the Sky as well with the, the Castle in the Sky robot wing things. Um um, it reminded me of a sky whale. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see that. You totally. know, where I was just mm-hmm. kind of like, okay, it's, you know, I sort of kind of get where you're going with that, <laughs> and it's interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, Patrick, good to see you. Yeah, it's a mechanical porn. I think it's, it's, a, it's a fair <laughs> way of describing yes. those scenes, totally. Um, well, I mean, honestly, you know, if yeah. you're going to do the thing... Do the thing that you totally. have all the little the little mechanical fan kids out there going. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, Anna watched those scenes obsessively as a kid, 
<laughs> right? You know, that was the, the more of that, please. I should also point out before we go any further, um, apparently it, it has now come out in, in recent months that Anno was not always especially close to the production of the rebuild movies, and there were there were long periods where he just kind of not show up to the studio. Um, or show up for an hour and then give them vague suggestions and leave. Um, so, oh. when we say Anno's vision, who's to say like how much of Anno's vision is actually in these movies? But fair enough. Um, you know, whoever knows. He was busy running a chain of losses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, He'll be back in a week. Yeah, be fine. totally. Um, uh, oh, I did a... There was a connection to that recently um what was it um ah okay it's, it's it'll come back to me at some point but yeah um uh well the funny thing is apparently during 3.0 Anno did go into a depression again um of, of this film uh he said it was weird considering how the same thing happened on the original tv series it right. kind of happened again on 3.0 and any number of reasons why that could happen, you know, mm -hmm. coming back to the same source material and, and it <clears throat> could have reopened old wounds, who knows. Right. Um, yeah. But yeah, very interesting design of the ship, um, very distinctive. Um, one of the things that Evan Gelling has always been really good at, as we talked about before, is kind of monster design and, and mecha design, the way the angels look and yeah. the, the Eva's look. And I, I love seeing that here as well, of saying we're going to have a ship, but it's not going to look like any ship you're familiar with. Um, we're going to just really go wild on it. Um, yeah, and so um, it, it, it takes out the angel, as we might expect, um, um, with a, again, somewhat absurd Centrifugal force. <laughs> Use a centrifugal force. Yep. Yeah. All right, fine, cool. Um, and then off it flies in space. Um, it made for good movie. It, absolutely. <laughs> right. um, You're not like, wow, I would never have thought of this <laughs> scene at all, ever. And I want to talk yeah. about this shot, because I am not sure if this shot means what I think it means, but there's a shot as they're flying off, with all the battleships flying next to them, and you see beams of light going off of them up, off of yeah. all of the ships, like they're marionettes. Yeah. And I saw that scene, and I thought that the filmmakers are kind of sending a message to the audience of saying, you know, this is all... They're all puppets, right? Like, this is all artifice. We're, we're, they're all dancing to our strings, basically. You know, don't take this too seriously. I don't know, um, but it just seemed a little bit like, you know, like watching a Godzilla um, a movie and seeing the strings on the planes as they're yeah. flying past, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I see what that is. I don't know. Or they fire as a missile and it goes oddly, like, you can see where right. it's <laughs> traveling a, a wire path down or something. Right. <laughs> like, nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I just I just thought at that scene when it, when it was lifting up mm. and the boats were starting to lift with it, mm -hmm. and the ships were starting to lift with it. There was that one ship though that did a nosedive. Yeah, it's true. It? <laughs> yeah, it's true. And I was just like, like, oh, well, that would have been sucked to be on that. Yeah. Hey, hey, we're off the. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. There well, we see, go. that's the one crewmate that didn't truly believe. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This thing can't fly. It's a boat. Oh no! Don't say. Ah! Yep. You can't um, get to the second star to the right unless you believe. Exactly. <laughs> All right, everyone. I believe in fairies. Um, yeah. <laughs> you um, uh, and so yeah, and so now we get a, a bit more. Uh, you know, the the sort of the pointer scene of the movie. Uh, where we get some, some more of the backstory, and we find out that this is indeed Sakura, I believe, um, uh, Toji's <laughs> younger sister. And I gotta ask yep. you guys a question. I thought she was like 14. Like, she looked like she was 14, 15 to me. Well, she was, yeah, she should have been, well. But she should have been like. But she's. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, from the one scene that we saw in the last movie where she gets, gets out of the hospital, yeah. she looked like she was like eight. So she yeah. looked like she should have been in her early 20s. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, and she, she looks she like looked... she's not that. <laughs> no. I don't know. Well, they might be relying on people not exactly remembering correctly <laughs> on yeah. her age. 
Oh no, she was like two, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, yeah, it was just weird because I, I watched that. And I was like, okay, she's about the same age as she, you know, maybe 15, 16, or whatever. Um, but yeah, no, she must be in her early twenties. So I don't, I don't know. Unless, I mean, I'm sure there's some backstory thing where like, oh, actually, she's, you know. And it's also possible that by if if indeed the curse of the Evas is that you're kind of stuck right. in age, maybe by being around them, you know, she has now been sort of stuck at. 14 forever? I don't know. Um, possible. There are people on the planet that would pay for that technology. Pay yeah. for those. Um, it would have been great if she said, you know, out loud, there can be only one. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Shinji. I'm not going to release the interlocks. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, there were a few nerdier moments in the 90s than the music video for that uh, that movie, we, we, we have Queen on yeah. uh, you know on stage with <clears throat> Connor McLeod walking around in a trench coat around. and a sword in yeah. front of Queen. It's like, okay, wow, some somebody somebody paid the money to make this happen. Okay, yep. Uh, <laughs> um, great song though. Great song. Um, uh, then we get Oscar showing up again, showing off the eye patch. Um, I love the fact that she never takes the plug suit off. Um, it's a very Asuka thing to do. It's um, bonded to her at this point. Yeah, but I probably pretty much. Um, boy, that would... Imagine her taking that off what that would smell like. Ugh. Um, um, but wearing, obviously, a much more, a much trendier outfit now with a little, you know, vaguely cattier hat and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Um, but definitely Asuka being Asuka. Um, pissed off at Shinji as always, um, and as usual, Shinji is not told what the heck is going on. Yep. Um, they just do that because they love seeing his reaction. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. It's, it's their entertainment. Yeah. It, it's it, it. It. You know, there's no anime in that world, so they have to f with somebody. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and that somebody, Shinji. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, because honestly, if if someone were to say to me, you know, I'm Shinji, and yeah. someone said, don't pilot an Ava, why not? Because we're afraid that you might start instigate mm -hmm. the next impact, fourth impact, and all these horrible things happen because mm -hmm. of the last time. I would be inclined to go, okay, okay. I, mm -hmm. I will not get into the Ava because mm -hmm. we don't want that. <laughs> but, you know, that would just yeah. end 3.3. <laughs> <laughs> But Do, is my daddy proud of me? Does my daddy love me? No. Sure. I'm gonna pilot that Eva. I'm gonna pilot the hell out of it. But I, I watch it all burn. <laughs> but I do love this scene because of what happens because of the kind of build up to it is that you know Shinji gets the, the cassette uh, player, um, and he reaches out to Ray and Ray responds, um, and he says, "Come to me," and <laughs> a barking Eva hand punches through the side of the ship. <laughs> yep. And it's just such a wonderful, like, anime moment. And I, I mean that not in the sense of just being over the top, but in the sense of a a ridiculous thing that is nevertheless kind of established in a world. Yeah, this is a thing that happens. Like, this can happen. Yeah. Um, and, and first of all, everyone, not only does everyone survive, what I... So I really honestly thought that Toji's little sister was going to get sucked out. Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, was, I was just like... And it was going to be Shinji's fault again. Yep, yeah, right. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> totally. Um, but uh, um, but I, and, and I love the scene for... for um, not only for all that, but uh, um, A, because it... Barking moves the plot along. Thank you. Because um, <laughs> Evangelion's not always great about that. But then also that Shinji, you know, is like... Okay, this is this represents forward motion. I am doing this thing, you know. I you know you are all maybe trying to protect me, but you're clearly keeping me in the dark as well. You know, I'm going to make the decision to do something that actually is risky, but I think is the is kind of the right choice. Um, and I just love that Shinji, you know, steps up there. Yeah, someone has literally mechanically reached a hand out to Shinji mm -hmm. to bring him out of the confinement in the dark into the light. Yep, exactly. Hmm. Even if he does have a Suicide Squad necklace on. <laughs> um, it's, he's just fashionable. Exactly. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's Battle Royale all over again. Exactly. Um, 
Battle but Royale. again, Masato, but it, it, but again, seriously though, Masato again with her hand, she can't slap him, she can't grab yeah. him, she can't do it, she can't press the button. Yeah, she lets him go out of range. What a great image, <clears throat> um, of Masato holding the hand out like so that it has a clear signal. You know, finger over the trigger. Yep. But she just can't quite bring herself. Whoops! Can't quite bring herself to do it. That jumped way farther than I thought it would. Um, that, just, I mean, yeah. like like Steve was saying, that would put a real quick end to the film. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. I, I was honestly expecting her to press it. We would see an explosion, and then Shinji would wake up again. Right? Like they totally could have gone that direction. I was just like a weird time loop thing, you know, and we're in the Twilight Zone. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, just a, a, good, a good, good moment there. And then Shinji wakes up in the unfamiliar ceiling. Um, which again, fair, good reference. Um, we get Ray. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. And, and again, I do appreciate that she shows up. And <clears throat> for me, at least, I, I was meaning like, not Ray. It's not her. It's a clone. I, she, she does not act like Ray, even, even like episode one Ray. Like, right. there's something about this right. that just is off. And I don't know how they did it, but it's like, yeah, good job there. Well, I mean, the first indicator is she's wearing a black True. You know, yeah, plug yeah. suit. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, that you're really trying to, like, you know, telegraph yeah. this here. But, like, <laughs> in the first time you saw her, it was a white plug suit. Mm-hmm. Now it's a black plug suit. Like, oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, good. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. It's almost like anime likes visual symbolism. <laughs> Weird. Exactly. Um, and for, like, you know, a lot of stuff that's just not told to us as the audience, at mm-hmm. least we can be like, I think, I think I understand that. Yeah. Exactly. No, I get you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and also, I'm just realizing now, um, is she wearing her... Ah, one second. I'm trying to, um, I think she's wearing her the, the little barrettes further forward. Yeah. Like, they seem to be, like, you know, forward up here, as opposed to normally back here. And again, I don't know if that's symbolism as well, that something's mm. different. I, I don't know. Um, uh, she's been cloned so many times her head's misshapen so they have yeah, to come forward to sit on her skull properly wouldn't surprise me um, and then we get some of, this, some of these lovely imagery of, uh, of Tokyo 3.5 um, uh, and uh, what's left of it should we say um, and again I, I do appreciate kind of the payoff of we saw this happen <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we saw that explosion at the end of that thing which like wiped out half of the building um, so we would expect it to be not too great anymore, and sure enough, it is not. Yeah. Um, uh, and I just love the, the, the visuals of all of the, you know, the red pools everywhere. Um, yeah. But also just the visuals of um, all the automation. No people anywhere. Um, things right. still happening. Like, obviously, there's still activity, but I think it's all been automated. Very, very weird. Well, i got to imagine that there's been a tremendous amount of attrition yeah. <laughs> in all of this. <laughs> so they're, the only thing that's still operating on the machines, most mm, of the people are probably dead. Exactly. Um, not everyone, though. There's a beautiful boy playing piano. And thank goodness for that. Yes. Exactly. He's prepping for the idol. <laughs> exactly. He is. Selection project. Here we come. <laughs> Who gets to pilot the Ava? Who gets to pilot the Ava? Um, he's Shinji's only friend, only friend, only. <laughs> <Never>. <laughs> um, so yeah, and so obviously we get a new shot with Gendo, you know, supporting yep. the, the <laughs> Ghost in the Shell visor there. <sighs> Gendo's so hip. <laughs> yes, absolutely. He could be a, he could be an eighties eighties early nineties uh, uh, rollerblader. Yes, <laughs> yeah, he's right on it. I, so the whole sequence of of Shinji and Ray going down into you know the mm. remnants of Tokyo 3 and and the, like the first part of the autumn you know as they're going down yeah. into it it seems like okay things are kind of messed up but all right and then it just starts getting through the familiar scenes and you start seeing how more and more messed up things are getting as they're going down further into Dante's Inferno yeah and and they, they, so they keep going down and this is like for me this is at the point where I noticed that Ray is not Ray you know, mm-hmm. just because she's just not acting in the normal way. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, we would have, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, um, but it, you know, so as they're, so as they're going down and, and they're doing this, and I'm like thinking to myself, because you guys brought, brought, bring up the point where everything's automated, everything. Yeah. There's no other person to the kid, mm-hmm. uh, the beautiful boy. And they're going through it, and I'm just like going, okay, so let me get this straight. Masato actually puts together a fleet, mm-hmm. has actual ops centers, has actual, like, you know, support mechanisms yep. and all these things, and she's fighting Nerve, and Nerve is comprised of Gendo, <laughs> his former Obi-Wan community, there. community yeah. college mm-hmm. instructor, mm-hmm. Um, beautiful boy band boy, mm-hmm. and, um, and 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 Ray, who's a big help, and and Ray, and Ray not Ray. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Well, he has an army of Rays, really. So this is true. There, yes. are, there are a lot of people. Just their own oh, way. wouldn't that <laughs> yeah, have that been scene, uh, what, uh, such a perfect image, or just a perfect thing? Is just the entire facility is crewed entirely by rays. Yes, that was that all in uniforms been, and caps, awesome. and just all going. Yeah, no, no, it sells at work point, style. I just went, at this at that point, I would have been like, going, no, 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 no. But that would have been awesome, like refueling <laughs> stuff, and like like moving stuff around, yeah. all emotionless, sandwiches. just you know. <laughs> Handing out sandwiches and drinks to the other rays. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the hell's happening? Yeah. Um, what about genetic diversity, Gendo? <laughs> I don't need any genetic exactly, diversity. Yes. <laughs> I just need Ray. Um, no, I have a question that just occurred to me. Is Gendo blind? Do we ever well, he's see him? blind to the emotional distress uh, of the sun. <laughs> do we ever see him without the visor on? Do we ever see him move? He does. Jeez, he, he does. He, there's one point where he, when they, when Shinji first gets down there and dresses his father, and his father turns around and walks away. Okay, fair. So yeah. there's, there's, so okay. there's yeah, that yeah, yeah. one moment. Okay, but I, I would, I would, I would say that, um, you know, he's rolled. No, um, I would he's say that he's, yeah, he's rolling you know, behind the scenes, <laughs> having a riot this whole time. Um, <laughs> No, I think Starlight I, Express. Oh my god! <laughs> Starlight Express with all the rays around. <laughs> <laughs> we need an Evangelion remix of Starlight Express. We really oh, do. Wow. <laughs> Starlight Eva. Oh wow! It makes itself. We make so much money. Um, <laughs> oh. But I think that the visors, to me, just and I have no no mm. basis for it, but it just seems to me that I don't think he's he's physically blind. I think that, or, or I don't think that the, he's medically blind. I think he he might be wanting to limit his vision for what he's already done, mm. and he yeah. and, and it's more focused and yeah. <clears throat> because he's almost there mm. with what he wants to do. Yeah. He's almost right. there, yeah. and I don't think he can look at the world anymore. And, yeah. and know yeah. and, and understand what he's done because he doesn't really walk out into the world. He is no. in mm-hmm. Tokyo 3. Like yeah. that, that's it. That's, that's it. That's his world now. I, I completely agree. And I actually just realized something to, to your earlier point. I remember I, reading something online somewhere. Somebody's going, <laughs> how does, uh, you know, why does anyone work for this guy, basically? You're watching the original <laughs> Evangelion series. Like, why, why doesn't everyone kind of, you know, walk off at some point? I'm like, Maybe that's kind of what happened. Maybe, you know, Masato's staged revolution, everyone's like, yep, yeah, see ya. Like, yeah. nope, I, I, you know, you're a jerk. I'm, I'm out of here. Well, I, say, I, 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 I like the idea of the, the visor being blinders to the rest of what's going on in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he still agreed. physically can see, but yeah, mm-hmm. he, he's got his, his focus on where he's going to go, and yeah. those are blinders. He doesn't yeah. see what's going on with Shinji, he doesn't see what's really, in essence, what's going on with Masato and all these other people. Mm-hmm. He doesn't care. Yeah, He's blind to what's yeah. going on with that and he's yeah. solely focused on what he's trying to achieve. Yep. So yeah, I, I can, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a, that's a brilliant observation. It's a really good answer. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, and so Shinji wanders around, uh, tries, to introdu- tries to talk to Rei, and I'll be very careful about skipping here. Um, <laughs> as he uh, talks to Rei a little bit, because you've got to get our fan service. Yep. Um, which granted, I think is the only fan service in the series in the movie. Yes, I think we don't really, um, and we see. Well, 
There's a bit of Kaoru, yes. I think. Um, well, we have we have Asuka with, with uh, uh, Pen Pen. That's that's uh, I mean this movie though, because that was, oh, that was this, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah 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 Okay, I thought you were talking like a series. Of, oh, oh yeah no 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 oh, <laughs> funny yeah. <laughs> no we have those. That memory isn't that bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bob. You know me better than that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know that guy down at the store that calls me Bill. <laughs> Um, and so, uh, so yeah. And so, Shin, you know, Shinji has his his thing. And I think this is, you know, letting the audience know if they haven't guessed already that this is not Ray. Yeah. Um, uh, and yeah, she's just she's just kind of there, existing. Um, and he tries to bring her the books. Yeah. And you know, and she's just like, "Do I?" And that to me, that would have been the first clue. Oh, not Ray. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is this is this is not the girl <clears throat> you're looking for. Um, well, and the fact that you know Ray in the original was passive. Mm-hmm. Um, she didn't have just a completely flat affect. Right. Right. Like you right. you 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 would ask her questions and she, she she would answer and so forth and she would have things. This Ray is just dead inside. Um, and it really really. Really come, comes across this other time. More of an automaton than yeah. the original Ray, which was more just a buzzkill. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, the thing is, um, I'm, and and um, I find if he's asking, why doesn't Shinji recognize that it's not the, the not the same Ray? I think he suspects um, because he doesn't really treat this Ray exactly the way the same way he treats the original Ray. He calls her Ray. He's giving her kind of the benefit of the doubt, and he's talking to her as though she is Ray. I think. He is assuming she is Ray, but I think you know there's something about his attitude where he's you know he's not as chummy with her. She's clearly not as chummy with him. Uh, so there seems to be something in his performance too, where he's kind of like this is this is weird. I'm going to try to break into her. He clearly <clears throat> knows something's happened. Right. Yeah, that she, like perhaps she's just lost in herself or something, and mm. as a result of what happened, mm-hmm. and you yeah. know, but doesn't realize that, that that's really well. I mean, yeah. he, Shinji also doesn't have a hundred percent grasp on all the things that have happened, right. and yeah. what's going on, and where his where he is in this mm-hmm. at the moment. Mm-hmm. So I think him bringing books to her yeah. is he's trying. He's everything's colored outside the lines. And yeah. Shinji's really trying very hard to bring things back into the lines so that he can figure out where he is in this. Mm-hmm. So Ray is not making any sense to him, so he's going to bring books to her. And then that, that'll somehow, if he can get her to get into that, then that'll bring her back into an orbit where he kind of understands her and he can normalize something about what's happening. And also, to be fair, like he has been on a nice edge for a very long time psychologically. And yeah. then he's been brought back here, and all of the progress he's made has been ripped away from him. Yeah. All the things he tried to accomplish, all that kind of stuff is gone. So he is in, and, and I can understand people being frustrated by Shinji in this movie. I totally get that, and I, I was not thrilled with what they did with Shinji in this movie. But I can recognize what they were trying to do psychologically with him, where he is now unmoored again. And as you say, kind of trying to, to kind of rebuild as best he can. Um, it's a little annoying because we're like, okay, back to square one. But um, which is again funny. I I like trying to look at the broken puzzle that that Shinji is mm-hmm. now more than I ever liked looking yeah. at the dealing with Shinji in the TV series or in 1.0. Mm-hmm. It's like I I I like the fact that there's bits and pieces of him that are just kind of like gobbledygook now. And it's just like trying to watch that, how it's going to sort out as the film goes on. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, and, still, that's good. And I, would, I don't want to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> and I would argue it's because, you know, he's had character growth. We've seen the capacity in him. We've seen right. growth and, and built and so forth. So now when he's taken apart, you're like, oh, but I know the pieces are there. Right. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree there. Um, and as Patrick said, you know, uh, and also sort of from a plot perspective, you know, Ray being not there pushes him towards Kaoru. And makes and one of one of the downsides, if you will, one of the weaknesses, if you will, of, of the end of the TV series is that Shinji develops this instant fascination with Kaoru, um, yeah. and they're suddenly spending all this time together. It's like, yeah, but you've got Rei and Oscar are all like all these other characters are around too, um, right. but this kind of much more kind of makes sense plot wise. 
Um, as yeah, Shinji's out. not hanging out with his dad. No. <laughs> Ray's not responding to him. And there's like literally, you know, it's pointed out, there's literally nobody else yeah, there. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So that yeah. him gravitating towards the only other living being who will talk to him mm-hmm. absolutely makes sense. Yeah. You know, it's like that's how they're going to develop the relationship. Right, absolutely. Speaking of relationship, um, Captain Laser Eyes <laughs> is saying in the chat, I bet Kaoru gets all the ladies. I bet Kaoru gets everything that moves. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't much. think Kaoru cares. I think Kaoru just kind of goes, yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. The answer is yes. He's one of those where it's a rainy day and that beam of sunlight comes out on him. Yes, like, exactly. <laughs> everybody else is soaking rain and it's just beautiful sunny day right for him as he walks along. Uh-huh. If he's under like an a, a overhang or in like a tunnel, the sunlight comes down and finds him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, he's on the subway in a beam of sunlight. <laughs> How the hell is this happening? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's just me. <laughs> oh, he goes Prince. to the goes to the grocery store. Um, the doors just magically open for him. They're, they're automatic doors. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um. Uh. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Like, like in another, anyway. Um, um, but yeah, and, and then, uh, and so they, they sit down and they start playing the piano. And what poor animator spent months animating this scene? Yeah. Not to mention the later scene. Yeah. Because um, boy, do they put all of their effort. And granted, we now live in a, you know, post k post Haruhi Suzumiya post sound euphonium world where we now expect this you know you kind of can't get away with faking it or folks notice but oh my gosh right <laughs> dang would you ever see the director's cut of this Mm-mm. where ray comes out in a ball gown and lays on oh, the piano oh that's right yeah stuff. yeah and i did see that scene, which is really good. <laughs> oh that would have been a scream <laughs> well, welcome to circle pines brothers. everyone <laughs> this is where it breaks through Ray's like yeah, you know, I mean, not being the same Ray, and all of a sudden, oh my gosh, through the power of music. <laughs> oh <my God. sighs> um, <laughs> Which I mean is kind of what's going on with those two. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the power of music. Yeah, it's like absolutely. coming together the power of music. Mm-hmm. Totally. Well, you know what that, that whole scene took place of for me was the mm-hmm. whole the combination of scenes. Actually, it took mm-hmm. place of the. The fact that that Shinji knows how to play cello in the TV series, uh, so true. that's not yeah. address. So you address mm-hmm. that Shinji has some type of musical talent, mm-hmm. um, that's right. and the fact that there was the the one episode where Asuka and Shinji have to act in tandem. Yes, the one, the one, the one, um, mm-hmm. one angel. So because as they both have to pilot the same Ava, mm-hmm. you know, so it's it's important that they're in sync. So this is the way for them to get in sync. And instead of having someone just go idiot Shinji or you know <laughs> yeah. Gendo, Gendo's yeah. heart, heart warm, yeah, you know, you know, bright, loving uh, father, father attitude. thing yeah. attitude and stuff, you actually just have somebody who just sits there who guides him along and, and, mm-hmm. and but in a way that's just like, I'm not going to emotionally damage you to get you to do this thing, mm-hmm. you know. So yeah. we're going to have fun with this, exactly. Right? And plus, I have the, I have my permanent beam of sunshine. And I'm the <laughs> voice. There you go. Totally. No, it's a great point. It, it, it's the power of synchronicity in a very gentle, friendly way yeah. um, of just, you know, try it. And, and I, I do appreciate the fact that one of the, one of the, one of the lines in there is, you know, uh, I'm not very good. Well, you, you just, you practice, you just do it a lot. That's, that's all it is. And you don't have to beat yourself um, about it. You just do it and have fun doing it and you'll get better as you do it. Which just occurred to me, which is a lot better and different than when Masato just said point and shoot. Yeah. And shoot. Exactly. Yeah. Shoot. Mm-hmm. Totally. Um, See, at this is a point where I would have loved to have seen more Mari Illustrious. Agreed. Yes. Yeah, right. I, I, I was saddened that there wasn't <clears throat> twice as much Mari in this movie. Because I think, you know, the idea of practice, mm-hmm. like that would have been the perfect thing to be like, yeah. look at Mari. Mm-hmm. She's done the practice. Look how good she mm-hmm. is. Yeah. Shinji, you're you're just as capable. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, huh? Oh, yeah, totally. Um, you two can sing Japanese lullabies <laughs> as you're slaying things. 
Um, and you two then... can sing Ethel Merman's Green. <laughs> no, we did not this again. <laughs> no, we're not going back here. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> um, and then <sighs> we, we get sort of this almost final episode of Evangelion kind of thing where it gets all abstract. Um, and we yeah. get this very visually interesting thing. Um, this whole scene with the clouds reminded me of Robot Carnival. Um, the, oh, yeah. the cloud segment of that. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, um, all of this gorgeous stuff with the, uh, the like sketchy horses riding through uh, the notes and, and all, the, all the visuals there. Um, I do have to wonder if this isn't, again, just kind of a, kind of a callback to those sequences of saying, you know, we can do this too. Um, you know, this, this is also an element of Evangelion. Um, and instead of using it to kind of try to explain the psychology of our characters, we're going to use it emotionally to signify you know, the, the, what our characters are feeling um, right. as opposed to kind of what they're thinking or, or, or so forth and so on. Uh, and um, as much as I appreciated those scenes in the Evangelion TV series, what they were trying to do, like interesting animation right. techniques, this didn't... Mm. There was a quality to that in the TV series that felt a bit like it was replacing something else, right? Where it's like, this, this, is, this is not the ending you thought it was going to be. Um, whereas this felt more natural, right? This felt more like, you know, it, it is a little bit padding-esque, but it right. still kind of fits into the overall tone of the movie. I don't know what you guys thought. I, I mean, again, I, I, I liked where this film was going, mm -hmm. so I could appreciate the sort of, I could appreciate the, the, the light touch mm -hmm. that they were getting through with this. It's like, here is somebody who is accessing Shinji in a way that is truly connective. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they're sharing this music, they're sharing this experience, and it's like, Okay, I, I I like the way it's done. There's not bullying. There's not like <laughs> you know healthy. reward. Yeah, there's not yeah. like reward and punishment. No, this is just you know what I mean. This is a very interesting sort of way to get about what this going on in the relationship there. So it's like well, okay, cool. Okay, and, yeah. and you actually see Shinji responding yeah. to it in a healthy way, where he's yeah. just yeah. like, hey, you know, the, the the one scene where they're just where he's just like, hey, let's just stay out here for a little bit longer, and I want to show you yeah. the stars. And you know, have a meaningful conversation afterwards, and, and you know, at the end of it, it, he just you know felt better about yeah. things at that yeah. moment in time before that gets ripped all away. <laughs> um, but as he's and going Kyra back, had a long he's, life. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. So, but at this entire time, while I'm, I'm watching this, and I'm like going, okay, we're definitely having this, these Yuri moments, and, and oh, you know, yeah. kind of, or, or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know, and and it's fine. And and I'm going through this, and I'm just like, it's actually nice for Shinji. Shinji is actually yeah. feeling good about things. And even when he flubs up and gets embarrassed, it's okay. He knows it's okay. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. just kind of like from a silent voice where he finally realizes, hey, can I be happy? You know, he's mm -hmm. kind of having that moment yeah. there. Mm -hmm. And the whole time I'm thinking of this, and it's really nice and all. I'm thinking two things. First of all, I'm thinking about ah, Kanji really prepared him for a, a new type of relationship. <laughs> um, number one. <laughs> And number two, I'm like going, so how are they going to pop off Kara's head in this one? <laughs> Carefully. Yeah. Right. Still. Carefully. Yes, exactly. Well, I, is this pretty much the only time that Shinji has had like sort of a meaningful, relaxing conversation? Yeah. yeah. In at, at least all of the films. Yeah. <laughs> like, Heck, I think. And I think even, even, even for the yeah. TV, yeah. 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 So it's like, this is. I would argue he has a few with. Um, well, no, I would say in Eva 2, like in the um, in the aquarium with his friends. Okay. Right. It's, it's a fairly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awkward, but it's, you know, right. it's, it's fairly healthy. But um, this seems yeah, like the yeah. most, like, connective discussion he's yeah. had with oh, anybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well. If only he'd gone to dinner with his father. They could have had this moment. Exactly. Right. Um, I'm sure. Which leads up to the really effed up moment. <laughs> well, yeah. With yeah. The shirt. Um, with the but, shirt. Um, but I, I do really appreciate, going back to this point about kind of the, the, the BL feel of this, is that they could have gotten a lot, they could have gone a long, long, lot stronger with those vibes. Um, yeah. And I appreciate that, like, Kaoru doesn't push. 
you know, Kaoru isn't, you know, leaning in on him all the time, isn't, you know, breathing in his ear or anything like that. You know, you read BL manga and Yaoi manga and all that kind of stuff, and they, you know, there's a, there's an insistence to a lot of that that feels a little rapey at times. Um, mm. And uh, and there's none of that in this. Kaoru is just, you know, hey, I like spending time with you. Full stop. Um, it's very sweet, actually. You've got a piece of rice in your cheek. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah and, then, and then to your point, the shirt. I still don't understand why this scene is here <clears throat> when he gets uh, Kaji's shirt. Because it's never referenced again. Um, there's no reason why they would have to recycle shirts. Um, and... I can't think of anybody in the base who would feel a need to send a message to Shinji this way, right? This isn't this isn't Kaoru's mo. This isn't Gendo's mo. I just I just like I like the revelation, but I just don't understand what its purpose was. Kaji's shirt. Yeah. Um, my read is that okay. So at the beginning of the movie, the engineer guy on the ship. Mm -hmm. Um, makes a comment about Kaji. Oh, so this is what Kaji meant by her being Misato being the way that she is. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. To... I, I, I said Kaji. I am. I am... Yeah, not, it's not Kaji. It's it's, it's, it's Toji. Toji. That's what yeah, I thought. Yeah, I was yeah, just Toji. Like, sorry, I was like, Toji. Toji. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just immediately yeah. went in a different direction. Yeah, yeah. But Toji is. I I, th I think it was a reminder mm. to it was a purposeful reminder mm. to. Um, to uh, Shinji mm -hmm. that <clears throat> you know he had a friend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right you know and it was and it was Toji and that was the person that he was probably supposed to be with mm -hmm. um, I think it was um, and I can never remember his name the, the college instructor of Gendo who plays his second oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's uh, that? Um, I think that was him I think that was him giving him the shirt uh, because he's okay. prepping yeah. Shinji for what he tells him. That makes sense. Yeah, when they play yeah. when they play the the, the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Now, yeah. now I got confused. Now, here's the thing: I was going to go with the Kaji thing. I was just mm -hmm. like, did I misremember that? Okay, was it Kaji? Well, it would yeah. make sense because he's mentioned early on in the movie, and True. maybe that's Kaji is still skulking around down there somewhere trying to figure out how to beat Nerve. And right. he sends Shinji's this shirt, his shirt, and it says, mm. it's basically saying, hey, remember, I told you to protect the Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's where I was going to go. Possible. But, Possible. Yeah. Yep. Um, interesting. We'll have to wait for 3.01.0 to find out. Yeah. I was going to say, we'll see what, what threads are pulled together in that one. Exactly. Because um, I thought literally the shirt was just, here's a reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, and I, I, I understand it as a reminder. I, was, I couldn't figure out where it came from. Kind of my, my confusion. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, it, and I mean, given that you know, so much stuff is automated, etc., mm -hmm. you know, I mean, who knows how the thing folds shirts? But, <laughs> right. um, you know, I just, to me, it was, I just took it at that value where it's like, okay, this is a reminder there were, there were other people. Mm -hmm. You were associated with other people. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason why they're not wearing their shirt. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, oh. And so yeah. that's his looking down. It's like, yeah, okay, another reminder that so much mm -hmm. has happened and so much time has passed yeah. that there's, you know, I've got this shirt because it just comes up in the cycle because there's nobody here to take the shirt themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. um, so. And to that point, the next scene, we, we do get kind of <laughs> the, uh, the confirmation as it was happened. Mm, so yeah. did anyone else get a 2001 vibe when he was eating the tray? The food off the tray. Oh, not not 2001 specifically, but that, that's a, an interesting point, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, because yeah, in 2001, that's like kind of what the tray looks like. Yeah. That's kind of what the floor looks like. Totally. Like, <laughs> the, the, the paste. Here, have the paste. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a good here's call. The, here's, yeah, here's the oh. pork flavor paste. And I just realized if Nerve is now, you know, above Earth, basically, um, that could be kind of what they're hinting there, is that you're not like physically on the service of the planet anymore that's interesting yeah i like that this is your space food rash yeah okay. pretty much um 
yeah, and so we see kind of what's left of everything um, as uh, Shinji is indeed confronted with what he did. Um, and in the chat, they're pointing out, you know, there's, um, you know, they're, they're, they weren't telling Shinji for very specific reasons. It is one of the, one of the difficult uh, things about Shinji is that, you know, he is kind of the key to everything. And if you tell yeah. him too much, it is possible he will go off in really the wrong direction and, and blow everything up. Um, and so I think there's, a, there's an intent to be, to have kid gloves on with Shinji. Um, which unfortunately backfires, as is often. Oh, he does. Yeah. <clears throat> um, turns out, if you don't tell people things, they don't have enough context to make good decisions. <sighs> Imagine. Amazing how that works. I know. Very, very weird. Um, I also um, appreciate the just kind of the visuals of uh, Shinji in the radiation suit, and mm -hmm. Kaoru, you know, just going out in his shirt and pants. Yep. Uh, the fact that, yeah, this isn't the problem for me, and and Shinji um, doesn't really comment on that, and I, I do wonder. <laughs> yeah, it is a deafening silence with regards to that. Mm -hmm. It's like, why is Shinji so suited up? And it, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get you. Yeah, um, and of course they've been telegraphing that since 1.0. Yeah, uh, for Kaoru, but still, um, yeah. So Shinji is not having a great day. Um, uh, and so we get, uh, yeah, and then we get the scene with, uh, with what's, good old what's his name. Um, I always call him Obi-Wan Kenobi because, uh, there's an, uh, there's a, uh, uh, AMV which takes the, uh, the trailer for The Phantom Menace and recuts it with all <laughs> Evangelion characters. Um, and Obi-Wan is, is him, which, you know, kind of fits. Um, nice. uh, Anyway, uh, so yeah, so they, they play some, some shogi, uh, Japanese chess. Uh, and here's where, and it's, it's kind of funny watching this scene, because I was like, you know, okay, so he's re revealing all the stuff about, oh yeah, we, you know, folks watching this movie series don't know all the backstory about Shinji's right. mom. <laughs> yep. This is how we get that across, um, as we kind of reveal where everything came from, um, and the fact that Unit 1 is indeed technically... Yui. Yeah. Um, with all of the little Ray clones inside, which that's not creepy at all. No, not at all. No. Oh, and the uh, big creepy clone head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's nightmare fuel. <laughs> there's nightmare fuel. Absolutely. Uh. Um, uh, and you get to see uh, Yui as well as a rather recognizable young woman on the right hand side of that photo. I don't know if anyone else noticed the girl with the long auburn hair um, who, who might just be, you know, um, the mother of someone we know. Um, but yeah. Um, and uh, when we find out that the, the unit is, is a, yeah, and then we get the, the <laughs> Ray. Um, <laughs> well, it's, it's not Ray. It's just, it's the, it's Lilith, basically. Um, let's see here. Um, and so, yeah, and then, then we get very much an Evangelion TV weirdo sequence of Shinji going down the hall. Um, yeah. Uh, and having his, his kind of little freak out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it's Don't an odd... Eye... have some Prozac stack. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, and again, I think this is a bit of end of Evangelion here. You know, a little, and a little bit of end of the TV series as well. Um, of just very, very psychedelic sequence. <laughs> I think it does work yeah. very well. I mean, it, it, it did get across the fact that he's kind of... He's kind of listing psychologically. Yeah. Um, Again. I was, I was, uh, <laughs> and there were there were moments during that when he's walking through the you know the maze of nerve, yeah. you know the damaged nerve. No pun intended. <laughs> um, um, I kept half half expecting him to pitch over like one yeah. <laughs> the rail. Yeah. Just, ah. yeah. Well, it, it's very lame, actually. Yeah. Just just visually, you know, on the bridge and creepy things going off. Kind of. Well, yeah. Um, uh, Shinji's not having the best of days. Um, and so then, Shinji kind of runs away again. Um, not, like, physically, but Kaoru comes in and Shinji's like, I don't want to pilot, I don't want to pilot, I don't want to pilot. And I'll admit, that this scene 
in the moment, I got a little frustrated by. Um, because... As an audience member, I'm like, dude, I get it. <laughs> we don't have to have this scene in every single movie. Um, it's, it's fine. On the other hand, oddly, to me, Shinji's reaction felt more like... Um, it's not so much an absolute refusal to pilot. It's more an, I don't feel like, I don't want to pilot. It's a, right. you know, I'm not in an emotional state. I, I don't want to have anything to do with that. Um, and so it is different from the kind of panicked reaction of, or, or, or the confused reaction of episode one TV and the, uh, the refusal in 2.0. Um, it has a different tenor to it. So it didn't frustrate me as, as much as if it was thing, but it was kind of like, okay, here are all the lines. Just write one right after the other. Can we move beyond this, please? Well, at, at this point, the reason why it's more palpable, why it's more you know easy to understand, even though it's still annoying, is that, okay, if you're going to have the breakdown that tells you, F this noise, I don't want to do this, yeah. this is it. This is the culmination. Yeah, yeah. Whereas mm -hmm. before, you know, whereas before sure. the other two times, it was more along the lines of, uh, you know, the, the, you know, like I said before, you know, I wanted to go to town and buy some power converters. That's what it feels like. <laughs> it's just being whiny yeah, yeah. and and just being, you know, just yeah. a little whatever. And you know, but at this point, you're just like, yeah, you 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 have an empathy for right. that reaction. Well. You know? And, and and to that point, you know, before when he didn't want to pilot, and I'm just realizing that it's not what you're saying. Um, before when he was running away, he was running away for selfish reasons. Um, you know, he didn't want to be in danger. He didn't want to do the thing. Now he's like, no, if I do that, I blow up the world. Like, that, that seems like a really bad idea just all around. It's not about me not wanting to do it. It's about, like, this, this, this leads to chaos and pain and death. So, yeah, I think that also helps. Yeah, yeah. John, I'm curious because I, I know you've 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 found Shinji running away somewhat frustrating at times. <laughs> what was your feeling with this scene? After the the shogi mm. revelations, yeah, um, I I I could empathize with Shinji in this instance where it was yeah. like, that's what I you know keep saying it's like this film was better for me mm -hmm. um, than the other Ava films because he his mother oh, is is yeah. the unit that he operates yeah. and it's like that is a lot to wrap your head around <laughs> that you don't yeah. have a mother because she's somewhere in this giant like earth destroying potentially earth destroying thing mm -hmm. so you're freaked out by the whole experience to begin with through the through the tv series and the, mm -hmm. and the two other films now you find out through this is like there's really really creepy about unit one mm -hmm. <laughs> and yep. it's like yeah psychologically i can see where now it's no longer really about just i want to get away from here now it's like there are really good solid concrete reasons now where mm -hmm. i just can't handle yeah. this <laughs> yeah I yeah am, unable to wrap my mind mm -hmm. around what in the hell is happening and yeah. what's going to happen mm -hmm. you know and it's like do i end up in space for 14 years or do i <laughs> well, end yeah. up wrecking the planet well, yeah well or the you stop and, you know what i mean when you stop and think about it, everyone else has had 14 years to process all yeah. this yeah he's had a good night's sleep <laughs> yeah pretty much. that's pretty much it yeah, yeah. so for this i it was you know mm -hmm. I know it's weird for me to say. It's like, I don't want to pilot the, the Eva. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shinji. Okay. I yep. feel like no offense to your, your whining, griping, <laughs> moaning, fetching. But I feel yeah. this is a legitimate, Yeah. I don't want to pilot this thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this these things are, are all just way the hell beyond the pale for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm there with you. Yeah. I, I now personally feel <clears throat> like I am also beyond the pale of how all this stuff works. Mm -hmm. Like... Yeah, I wouldn't do it either. <laughs> yeah. Um, on, on a side note, I have to say I, I forget which one of you said it, but I thought it would be a great album title: "The Shogi Lessons." Oh, nice. The Shogi Lessons. Yes. Yeah. I like it a lot. Shogi Lessons. Shogi Lessons. Um, well, enough Shogi shows up and enough shows. So. True. Yeah. <laughs> um, enough Shogi shows up, enough shows. Wow. 
and <laughs> see that far that's fast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and somebody finally takes the burden off of Shinji for once. Yeah. Suddenly somebody's like, no, I will I will take this off of you and take it on myself, because that's what friends do. Misato never did that. No one else nope. ever did that for Shinji. Um, and it's such a wonderful, powerful moment of realizing, oh yeah, this is one of the reasons why Shinji is so messed up, because he has no like healthy mm. relationships. Yeah. Oh, I'm laughing because it's just so uh, frustrating and, well, and sad. Yeah, the people that he trusted and Masa- Masato, I kind of got the feeling that Shinji did genuinely love her and like had, right, a, yeah. had, a, had a affection for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He has a head exploding collar put on mm-hmm. by her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> uh-huh. wow, that's mm-hmm. a <clears throat> betrayal, hey? <laughs> um, I also thought it was very interesting that he couldn't get it off himself, and yet somebody shows up, you know, here <clears throat> and touches it, it comes off, <clears throat> and he puts it on himself. It's like, huh. I thought it was going to go Neat off trick. if you tried to take it off. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You don't have the control button releasey thingy. How you? Okay. <laughs> Another little nudge, nudge, wink, wink. This guy's special. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yes, he is. It was the ray of light. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. He's got rainbows coming out of his butt. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> um, I just love this, also, just kind of the imagery of this scene, because it, it starts with the two of them on opposite sides. Um, Kaoru comes over to Shinji to take the collar off um, and then they both sit down side by side and I don't, uh, I, John I think you, you were the one uh, uh, well, I think both of you were the ones talking about the perspective um, in, in Eva 2 of uh, Shinji being below um, uh, Gendo. Gendo and then the two yeah, of them yeah. you know equal uh, and just the imagery to them is just you know, two guys sitting side by side um, it's a wonderful, powerful Im- image of, uh, of friendship here. Um, yeah. It will last forever. Uh, At least the next, tw- like the next 20 minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but, and, and I think to your point, too, John, you know, um, I think this sells Kaoru a lot better, too. Uh, yeah, where he's yeah. not just a mysterious guy. You know, you, you're like, okay, he's, he's, a, he's, a ni- he's a nice young man. Yes. Um, uh, and th- there's a genuine relationship here. Well, it, it, you know, you make a point there. It, there's uh, in the series, TV series, um, Karu is there's a sinister yeah. thing to him, mm-hmm. even though he's wide open. He he's sinister. He knows what what's going to happen. He knows what he's going right. to do, and he knows he's going to screw Shen, Shinji up in the end. Mm-hmm. So there's a sinister um, aspect about him in the television series. Yeah. Here, he's just like kind of like, okay, well, I know what's going to happen to me, but it's okay because. I actually like you, so you know I'm willing to do this. Yeah. As opposed to television series where you don't get really any of that, you just immediately get to go, oh, they're in love, you know. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. And and in this, you're just kind of like, oh, they like each other, but you know, they're also both of them are working towards a goal, and they're yeah. doing it in a healthy way. Right. Yeah. You know? um, uh, so yeah. So then they uh, they they pile it up, they suit up, and get in. Um, as I was watching this, there's this weird thing in the back of my head um, that's running through a lot of movies where I continually ask myself, if I were making the announcement trailer for this movie, <clears throat> what would I select as the clip? Um, and it has to be just one continuous chunk of the movie that I would release to the public. They have no idea this movie exists, but I, you know, I show them this clip. And for me, it would be... Um, the the moment, and we'll see if I can get it here. Um, no, that's the both of them. Um, there's a moment of Shinji with the gosh. This is <laughs> uh, the clips of this are are not being very helpful to me, um, and I'm trying to find the the, the right moment. Um, but there's a moment of Shinji in the um, um, in the 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 plug the plug um, and it's just him putting there it is uh, and it's him in this dark plug suit fitting it on with this confident expression on his face and then the color goes goes past um, and then you see Kaoru next to him smiling at him and Shinji looks over at him and I'm like that's my teaser 
That's how I announce Evangelion 3.33. Can you imagine how the, the world would have exploded if we just showed a trailer of Shinji in this completely new plug suit and then Kaoru's next to him piloting and going, okay, movie's coming in a, in a year. <laughs> <laughs> Meltdowns, the fanfic. Absolutely. Um, uh, the endless the, the, line the, the, of the, the, fans out, the, the, outside, outside the theater. I, I was going to say, all the squeeze of the fan yes, girls and right. all, of the, and all yeah. of the rage of the fans. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and so down they go. Um, and so first off, clearly these filmmakers have seen Terminator and Terminator 2 yeah. um, with, with the skulls. Um, uh, and then they, they, they go up to take the spears off of Lilith. Now, what did you all think about this scene? Because, so obviously, you know, they're going after the, 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 the spears of the, the, the spears there. Of um, Longius. Yeah, Longius and Cassius. Um, yeah. And then, obviously, um, Vir um, arrives to attack them. Um, Kaoru suddenly gets reservations. But Shinji, you know, soldiers on. Uh, and he goes to do that despite literally everybody telling him not to grab the spears. Yeah. Um, there was a part of me where I was like, Shinji, please just listen. Shinji, please, please just, th you're, you're making a dumb decision again. Can, can, can we have a movie where Shinji doesn't make dumb decisions a lot? Um, it's, Wouldn't it, be even <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's the thing, is... There was a part of me which got a little frustrated with Shinji's actions here, where it felt like, and, and I get it, they're, they're trying to express that despite everything going on, he's finally decided to take action, and he's not going to let go of that by, you know, stopping. He's going to get through it because, darn it, I've, I finally made a decision. But it did feel a little melodramatic to me. Um, it felt yeah. a, little, a, li a little much to me. But what did you guys think? So I'm gonna get uh, this out of my system. Mm. Um, so when he's he's crawling over Lilith to grab the spheres of destiny, whatever the hell they are, <laughs> what, what um, they are yeah. he he's saying he literally says, "But these are the spheres. Uh, these are the spheres that I want. That I want." And I'm just thinking Star Wars, and I'm just thinking these are not the droids. <laughs> and, uh, Carol, and, and, and Carol is, is like, wait, no, these are not the spheres. And I'm just like, wait, oh my God, this is the most isolated yeah. right, here, right here. So, yes, I, sorry, I had to get that out of my system. Because yeah. it, that's literally what it felt like. Um, the whole, um, the, the whole, as Shinji is doing this and Kaoru is just sitting there and he's got that great expression that they really did that well where he's just yeah. like, something's not right. Yeah. Something's not right. I gotta think this through. I gotta think this through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to think it through, hoping that Shinji's gonna just take it slow. Then Asuka comes in and just starts hammering at him, and you got, you know, Marie up there, you know, pounding away with with her sniper rifle, mm -hmm. and and they're all yelling at Shinji at one point. You know, just mm -hmm. stop it, stop it, stop it. Kara's just just like very calmly going, Shinji, no, wait a second. And like you said, Shinji's just soldiering on, and he's just like, no, I'm going to do the thing. What's my effing life? I'm going to do the thing. Do the thing. This is what I need to do. And, and it's just all so chaotic. Mm. And nobody, the closest person that has the ability to shut him up and shut him down is Kairo, and he can't do it because everyone else is just screaming. At this point, it's just all True. noise. True. It's all noise, and Shinji's just like, me, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it. I'm, yeah. you know, I'm doing the thing. And Kairo is just like, he once he realizes what has happened and he realizes what Gendo has done and one he finally realizes who he is, yeah. that he is the actual angel, mm -hmm. he was he just gives up. And he's just like, Okay, here we go. This yep. is what's what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I think Shinji was at that point where, you know, like you, you you're just like, just listen, just listen, but I don't think he would ever have been able to listen Fair. through this yeah. whole thing. Mm -hmm. To this whole thing. They were just Asuka had the ability to tell and scream at him why not to. Mm -hmm. Karu had the ability to tell him, no, this is why, if you trust me, don't do this. Mm -hmm. Marie could have come down and probably just kicked all their asses and just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there. 
but um, but you know it's just so much noise mm -hmm. it was just it's just noise and purpose on Shinji's yeah. part and just for once he's just like why well, okay remember all the TV series how you wanted to kick me in the throat and, and then mm -hmm. you know you know curb stop me because I'm so wishy-washy not now yeah and that's the very point where we're all just like going no be wishy-washy <laughs> right. yeah. yeah, take a be breather conflict, idiot. Point. Yeah, be you're conflict, absolutely right yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, that there is an, an aspect of Shinji fighting back against his previous self in a way that is ultimately unhelpful. That's just kind of his Shinji's yeah. life, isn't it? Well, I mean, and f you know, for me watching this, it's just like, okay, Shinji, you, you've, you're making the last stand here. You've had a lot of things going on. Yeah. <laughs> There's all this chaos happening. You've learned some really uncomfortable and uncool truths. Yep. And you're, 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 you're really girding your loins at the worst yeah. possible moment <laughs> in the worst possible way. Mm -hmm. But you're, Lord love you, you're doing something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you are actively doing something. I would have been much happier and it's, you know, mm -hmm. it isn't, mm -hmm. but it's a wish. I wish it could have been. Yeah. Um, I would have been much happier if he had just dropped the f bomb to them all and mm -hmm. said, "I don't care what happens," mm -hmm. and just yanked mm -hmm. the the spear yeah, out. Yeah, I wanted I that, that yeah, yeah, desperately yeah. to be yeah. the moment where it's mm -hmm. like this ends. Good it. call. Yeah, I have yeah. you know I have had it up to here with you people. Yeah, yep. this ends it. But it's like you never. It might be in there somewhere, but it is yeah. not telegraphed in a way that and you could be like, okay. I, I, I suspect that's kind of the intent of the scene. That's kind of where they were going. But you're right. Like, it's not there. Like, they, they don't yeah. give us that that moment of, <laughs> like you say, F you all, at least this 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 is a finality. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this last stand here on the hill, I have made it, yep. even though we all die. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Patrick in the chat is, is saying, he finds it bizarre that in the end he just does what his daddy wants him to. Um, I think what makes it different is that he doesn't know this is what his daddy wants him to do. Um, yeah. He is unwittingly acting in, in that, but he has no idea that this is this is uh, Gendo's plan. Um, and so, yeah, so he, he does the thing. Um, um, and, uh, uh, yeah, uh, things start to change. Um, even Ray notices. Um, and uh, I, I love that little moment where, where he's talking about, you know, another Ayanami and you can see she realizes, wait, who am I? Yeah. Um, although, although I, loved, I loved that. I loved her scythe. Yes! Yes! Down at, you know, yeah. Death. Yeah, more, down. more, more Ray with the scythe, please. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, although I would have expected, although Asuka would be good with the scythe as well. Um, yeah, but Dark Ray does, she's like the harbinger of death. Yes. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, and then uh, again, bad things start to happen. Um, because that doesn't happen in any of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Yeah. Um, this is the first time. It's the first time. Um, so, so something happened here at this point mm. in the movie that hasn't happened to me since um, the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo movie, okay. where I forgot about a certain large aspect of the movie. In, Dra in Girl of the Dragon Tattoo, you forget that there's a whole subplot, and you're meant to forget, mm. by the way. It, you're, you're, you're not supposed to remember. Mm. There's a whole subplot of her and her brother yeah. in, in the movie. And it comes out, I'm sorry, in the book, mm -hmm. uh, in, in the book where it comes out. And here, when Masada shows up, I'm like, oh, yes, now I remember that. Where mm. she shows up in the ship, to, mm -hmm. you know, to try and save the day. Yeah, and it's just like going because you don't think about that at yeah. all. Um, <laughs> yeah. When they stop showing Masato to that point, you're mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, that there is that. Yeah, <laughs> there is that. I completely agree. Yeah, I, when they showed up again, I was like, oh yeah, Masato. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. That ship. And all that thing. Yeah. Um, I wonder if they fixed the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and you get a, a, a very Yamato scene, uh, I must admit, of, of all the, the guns yeah. blazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, shooting. Um, Which I loved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, cool. And, and again, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that that is a, a callback to Yamato. Um, 
more than anything else. Um, yeah, and so uh, we had some fun stuff. Asuka goes full beast mode, uh, which yeah. I'm sure a lot of folks were looking forward to. Like, if Mari can do it, why can't uh, Asuka? Oh, yes, she can. Um, and what's nice about this is that Asuka has been kind of, um, kind of on the short end of the stick in a lot of these battles, where she's like done the thing, but you you very much feel like she's kind of put upon as the Eva pilot, where she kind of goes out and does the thing and comes back, and then goes out and does the thing and comes back. Um, and she's not really appreciated all that much. Um, and yeah. so you don't really get a, a crowning moment of awesome for Asuka uh, until here at the end, where she is really just pulling out all the stops. Um, and it's just kind of uh, fun to see Asuka in that uh, you know full Asuka in rage um, uh, moment, where she is just doing everything she can. I was thankful for not hearing. I didn't know an Ava could do that. <laughs> oh, now yeah. we all know what an Ava yeah, exactly can do. right. Yeah, exactly. boy, do we? <laughs> That's impossible. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and so we have our, our teary scene with Kaoru, um, as Shinji realizes what's going on, and can do absolutely nothing to stop it. Um, also, full um, full credit um, for the animation of this. Um, yeah. And obviously, I'm not going to show it to you, but the way they show that happening makes it extremely clear what's happening without it feeling tasteless. Yes. Um, uh, well, yeah. What I was going to say is that I appreciated that death a lot better than I did in the hmm. in the, in the television series because because of that reason, it was just like you you saw it, like you mm -hmm. saw it yeah. happen. But it was done in such a way that, okay, you see the separation, okay, mm -hmm. there's the scene, and then, you know, pfft, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And whereas opposed to the television series, he's got him, you know, she's <laughs> just got him, oh. and he squeezes it, and the little head. Yeah. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and I remember watching that for the first time, going, ah, oh, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> no, that didn't just happen. Right. Yes, mm -hmm. yes it did. Um, yes. Yeah. yes, it did. Yeah. Um, well done, Captain Laser Eyes, by the way, um, in the chat. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I agree. And there are plenty of anime <laughs> <laughs> um, that go... Lose your head over that joke. Exactly. Um, there are plenty of anime that go very gory with that kind of stuff and would absolutely yes. show, you know, brain matter spattering everywhere. So um, I just very much appreciate the, the way they got it across where it's, it's definitely R-rated, but it's not like... Um, you know, it's not major abyss. I'll put it that way. Um, yeah. Um, and then, um, 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 yeah, things go from bad to worse. <laughs> that way. Um, it's the end of the world. <laughs> and no one feels fine. Um, no. <laughs> and we get this, I'll be honest, kind of weird ending where Asuka sort of rescues Shinji and pulls him out and Rei comes over and they all just kind of walk off into the sunset together. Because um, mm. on the one hand, I was like, thank you for bringing back the three main characters together and like synchronizing them back up. Like I, I, I like a movie w which ends with me wanting to write fan fiction about what happens like the next day. Right, and I don't mean like you know that kind of fan fiction, but I mean like it, it makes me wonder. Okay, what are those conversations going to be like? Like, what, what are those interactions going to be like? <laughs> so, what do you want it's, for it's, dinner? I want hot pot. <laughs> oh, great! Let's go to the store. Oh, there's no, no mushrooms. No, no, wait a minute. No. No, 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 I was thinking more along the lines of Euro camp. <laughs> so, just all go camping and sit out by the lake and watch you know, the stars. Oh. Watch Mount Fuji melt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, but is that a star? No, that's the fourth impact. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's get out of our solar reflector. Today. Yeah. Oh, how wonderful. Um, they God. say you can hear everyone scream when they burn in hell and this thing goes off like a nuclear bomb. Oh, cool. That's neat. Um, but it did just feel kind of an awkward ending. Um, just sort of tonally to me. Um, I don't know. What did you guys think? It felt to me like it was telegraphing a sequel. Oh, you did. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, first I'm going to rewind a little bit mm. and 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 talk about the the Yui head 
zombie head. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant, gigantor head. Mm-hmm. That that Gendo stands, stands in front of, and it, and it has that creepy little smile as it explodes yeah. in blood or whatever. And he mm-hmm. just stands there and he's like, "We are proceeding as normal." Whatever he says, <laughs> and he turns around and walks away. You're just like the oh, human instrument project. You. Yep. Was, Everything God, is I proceeding you. as I have you foreseen. God, I hate you, you smug <laughs> And but then, okay, so you know, fast forward to to the end thing. Um, the thing I think annoyed me was that it wasn't so much that the three of them are, are walking off into the sunset as it is Oscar does the thing of opening the 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 tube, the plug, mm-hmm. as Shinji and Gendo had done for Red. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she opens it to go in and do, you know, we think, oh, okay, we're going to have that kind of a moment. Yeah. And you see Shinji just a lump of mm. emo flesh, you know, just curled up in the fetal position down the, in, in the plug. And yeah. she and she just doesn't even want to freaking deal with it. And mm. she walks away. And I think that would have been great to have ended it right then and there. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. and then then we would resolve how the three of them yeah. get together. And well, and that would have been you know what I would have done is she walks off, and then we cut over and we we see Ray looking down at Shinji. Yeah, and that's where yeah. I cut. Yeah, and that would have been a much more satisfying. But yeah. instead, she comes back. Yeah, <sighs> abuses the guy yeah. again. Uh-huh. You know, after he's just lost the like one guy that you know the one person in his life that's actually treated him like not a puppy to set on fire <laughs> but actually a human being mm-hmm. and yeah. you know so she's just like can't you do anything you know put mm-hmm. you're gonna carry the bag and he just wants to die yeah that's all he wants mm-hmm. he just you know it's he doesn't say it but that's what he wants yeah. and then the three of them going saw so, up, up into the you know sunset she's basically dragging him along by the arm raised off to the side mm-hmm. and he's just kind of slumped and i'm like going God, can we have Truck Coon and just end this <laughs> right now? That would have been a good part of that ship that fell out of uh, <laughs> right. formation. <laughs> right, yeah. This is oh, like there it have is. Misato fly over and have like a destroyer fall out. <laughs> wow. right of end of film. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it just felt to me like it was, this is just, hmm. okay, guys, let's wrap it. I have an idea what we're going to do for the next film. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like I, I wasn't particularly satisfied with it. I, it Shinji is <clears throat> possible for this kid to get more of a mental mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? He is. I guess that's that's part of my frustration with this is I don't know why we needed this scene at all. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, you know, it, it didn't really tell me anything. No, I mean, I think you hit the nail on the head. Is you have the three main character people. And they're all now here. Look at them. They're on the screen and yeah. marvelous 3D supervision. <laughs> yeah. You've waited for all three to be together, and here they are. <laughs> yeah. And, you know what I mean? It's like it, it doesn't it doesn't okay. drive any of the, the plot points necessarily ahead. Mm. Asuka is being Asuka. She's abusing Shinji again. Yeah. Except for now, Shinji's just not angsty emo kid. Shinji mm. is like psychologically shattered to yeah. watch the one person that was decent to him, mm-hmm. one person that gave a crap about Shinji as a, as a human being, mm-hmm. die. Yeah. And it's like, well, <clears throat> we don't need Asuka the character type. Yeah. You know, yeah, we, we don't... Exactly. Right. That, <clears throat> you know, we, we know how she is. <laughs> we, we know, we, we watch these films up to here, which is... Mm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I felt it was it was genuinely just a, here we go. Tune in for the next episode. What do you see? Yeah, it, it's sort of fan service. Yeah, you know, in in, in, in the the non. Uh, well, edgy it's way. the worst. Of, it's, right. It's the, I was just gonna say it's the worst of Gen C ever. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's it absolutely yeah. yes. That's actually a great way to put it. This does feel like somebody wrote the Dodinci at the end of watching the movie. Um, it's like oh, okay. Everything terrible happens, and they walk off together. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. So, a bit of a misstep there. Um, but yeah, that is that. Is that uh, and then we get um, our next episode preview, as we always do. Um, which I did a bit of research about this. It's weird. There's like one big, long Eva fight. Um, of just, you know, Eva's uh, fighting each other. Um, 
Turns out they filmed this. Um, this is all guys in um, uh, motion capture suits, huh. uh, which they then um, you know import into a computer and then animated as EVA units. So these are all stuntmen, they're stunt actors. Oh, yeah. wow. Which is kind of okay, interesting. I, mm -hmm. um, not sure why they went that direction. Um, again, not complaining. Sometimes just because you can. Right. Yes, Absolutely. maybe. Um, and uh, it's also kind of interesting because I think at this point in the franchise, <clears throat> we all do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do think it's it is fairly smart of them to say we ain't gonna tell you nothing. Yeah. We're going to show you some Eva's fighting, Eva's potentially kind of things. That's it. That's all you get. Um, and you, you got to wait to find out what's going on, which should have to be a long wait. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. Which, I mean, you know, if it was going to be that kind of fighting action and that kind of motion capture action, I I mean, that, I, I, you know, like I said, three's been on the upswing for me. So, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Hey, that looks kind of cool. I might be interested in that. By the way, it was. Um, between the uh, release of this movie and 3.0, 1.0, was it took eight and a half years <laughs> to get to that point. So it was wow. It was a bit of a long wait. <laughs> there, there were story problems. There were, from, there, from, there, there were, from there were many. One. There were many problems. Yes. <laughs> it, uh, you know what it was? It was every day that the staff came in and said, "I swear to God." I swear to God, if you do this again to Shinji, I swear to God, <laughs> I'm going to take a two by four and just smash everything in the studio. I mustn't what run away. That, I mustn't run away. Yeah, I, I what happened to all the animation that we, that we spent a year on? Oh, somebody got pissed off and burned it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back to square one. How many times yeah. has this happened? Six times <laughs> this week. Yeah. So now, eight and a half years later, finally, mm -hmm. we got... We only yeah. had certain parts of the unit work on certain <laughs> other parts of the film, so they no, none of them could know what was happening at the same time. Mm. Oh, that's how you got the Brilliant. film again. <laughs> um, and and Ken Lee, you're absolutely cor correct because Otto worked on other things. You know, he he, he had other other um, pains in the fire. Sure, um, but, but still, you know, for the Eva fans, it was a long wait. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so at the end of EVA 3.33, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, um, how eager are each of you to find out what happens in the final movie? Because this can go many ways. Yeah. <clears throat> and it probably will. <laughs> All of them. Oh, oh crap. The answer will be yes. Yeah. Um, I, you know, so again, when I when I saw when I watched this and ended it at two a.m. thereabouts last night, <laughs> Steve likes to torture himself. As I'm sitting on my couch, going, <laughs> I worked all day just to sit and watch this. What? What's wrong? Oh, what, oh my god! Oh my god! You know, no. Um, as I, I, I felt we could end it all right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, you know, I felt it could be, okay, we're done. This mm -hmm. is it. We're done. And even though I'm not crazy about the ending, this, this would be fine. This yeah. would be a fine place to end it. Um, the trailer did not give me much to want to see it, mm -hmm. honestly. Sure. Um, I felt it was a little chaotic, but that's, I recognize it for what it was. It was, 205 a.m. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I would say having to, to think about it, I would be, I would be, you know, I uh, trepidatious. Okay. Just because I don't know, because honestly, okay, mm -hmm. we've avoided the fourth impact. Gendo says this is all according to plan, whatever the <laughs> heck that is. That, yeah. that is. And, so I think that would be probably the only thing. I, I, honest to God, I think what the reason why that would actually want pay money to see this in a the theater on the big screen mm -hmm. is to see how Gendo dies. I want him <laughs> to die a most horrific death. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I want him to go. I was wrong, and then just slowly dissolve. Yeah. Something, something. Oh, become. The oh, I know exactly how I want Gendo to die. Um, but, but I will get to that in a minute. Um, John, how about you? Well, zero not want to see it at all. Ten 
meaning like right, Euro yeah. Camp the movie where <laughs> I, it's going to be an absolute must. Mm-hmm. Um, I I have also trepidation, but not in so much as seeing it because I I do want to see it. But mm-hmm. will it truly be the end? <laughs> well, yeah, um, you know what I mean. So it's like uh, I'm not like thirsting like all over the map for this. So I would say I'm I'm comfortably somewhere in around a seven because I want to see the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've 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 enjoyed the 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 growing pleasure at watching Eva mm-hmm. to this point so I want to see how this ends yeah I want to see, but I want to see how it ends <laughs> I don't I don't want to so, hear so, so that this is just another delay period <clears throat> the fourth impact's coming anyway mm-hmm. and this is just you know we're going to go through another cycle of this be like so, so you don't want to see Krillin and Goku and Gohan <laughs> and Piccolo go to Namek to get the the Dragon Balls and the yeah. No. If there is a scene <laughs> of Shinji powering up in that movie, I would be so happy. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh boy. Well, I mean, um, I'm sure there'll be in the next film a, a part where he's fighting and screaming. Probably. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> safe sort of like power. Um, but yeah, I want to see I, mm. how are you going to land this thing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We've, we've, we've seen how this has gone up through here. We've seen how the TV mm-hmm. show, we've seen where this has come along now. How are you going to land this? How are we going to come to a full resolution of everything that is Eva? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So I, I swear to God, if it goes into a small clock again, I'm going to drink so much more liquor. I'm going to rage <laughs> on Baltimore City it's so hard. Remember, you know. the poster, the, the official poster for this movie, its tagline is. Bye bye, all of Evangelion. So you know that that, that is their that, that is Anno's stated intent, whether it gets there or not. Right. Um, I mean, because I I I would be be afraid that the ending we have with three point three three would be the ending of mm. three point and plus one point <laughs> Is that it's going to be like, hey, we we've, we've stopped the thing for now. Mm. And then they walk off in the sunset again and be like, oh, no, dude, no. I, I, no, no, no. I doubt that because none of the other oh, Evas yeah. have had that kind of an ending. Like, there's always been something. Even, you know, yeah. it hasn't just been well and then the legend continues. Um, right. But, but I mean, but I, 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 I like, first, conclusive. Yeah. No more red water. No more red mm. earth. Or no more earth. The whole right, thing explodes. Yeah. <laughs> and end of this mm. damn ride. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sitting at a solid seven. Just, just like you, John. Um... Um, I'm intrigued. I'm hopeful. Um, but part of the problem is that, I mean, anime often doesn't stick its landing, um, yeah. in general. Uh, um, but then, but also just, th- there are, there is so much potential for the end of, of these movies to just go completely off the rails. <clears throat> um, and, and even be just an unsatisfying ending. Like being, okay, that is an ending. Like you did end it. But it didn't feel earned. It felt weird. It felt just like where, where did everything go? Um, so um, yeah, I I am fairly, I I'm willing to bet we will get a we will get an ending. Whether we're yes. happy with that ending or not, I'm I'm, I'm sure. Uh, we will see. Um, but uh, yeah, and and the way I um, what I want to see happen is I want Ray. To walk up to Gendo, put her hands around his throat, and goo him. And gooify him the way she does uh, in, in End of Evangelion. Yeah. And just convert him and just have him. <clears throat> Can she kick him square in the jewels first? <laughs> <laughs> Shinji does that, and then Ray does the, oh, the goo. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, I can, I can totally with that. Um, Nothing but terror, chaos, and awful and pain for Gendo. Yeah, That's just exactly. what I want for him. Um, he's just... Or also, maybe the ending is that Gendo's right, and that what he's doing and what he's done makes the world like a garden of Eden paradise. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. It's and Gendo. Sh- oh. <laughs> well, no, but, and, and that's where, at the end of the film, everybody runs out of the theater and like sets the place on fire. Like, Gendo was actually no. the good guy. Oh, hell no. It ends with everybody <laughs> applauding Gendo. Yeah, that's how it ended. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> 
I would not put it past Otto. Oh, no. like, I don't want to do that. Shinji but... Mind Break actually yeah. hasn't had that ending. <laughs> yeah. say, the, the tagline for it, the ending you never saw coming. <laughs> like, damn straight. Yeah. If, if, if that's the ending, I think we would have heard about it by now, because I think there, yeah. there would have been arsons. I think you're, you're yeah. right. <laughs> Gosh. Um, Who is the most lovable father character of the year? <laughs> Why, Gendo Ikari. Oh, yeah, 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 he's a sweet guy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I was about to make a joke, which I'm not going to make. Um, <laughs> you got two more minutes. For <laughs> oh, no, that, that, that is not an on-air joke. Um, okay. uh, <laughs> not suitable for NSFW. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm, um, mm. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, we're going to take a break. Thank you all so much. Uh, and we'll see you back here in just a couple minutes.